Hello all and welcome to Star Citizen and my humble abode, the Drake Vulture. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to give you a very quick, because it is a small ship, very quick tour of what I've got in my Vulture, explain what we're doing today, and then we're just going to get cracking. We're going to get on with it. So, without further ado, um, you'll also see in the corner I've got a my game glass setup and I'll go through that as well because I've added a salvage component to it as well I really enjoy using it, it helps with the immersion so I'll show you a bit um, more with that one as well so we're just gonna exit seat there we go let's get out of third person so here we are my lovely Drake Vulture we all know what's down there that's the cargo aspect so gun rack I've got salvo my favorite pistol absolute hand cannon of a gun med pen just in cases uh the big tractor beam here as well um in the next one as well i'm going to put a p4 with size 4 scope suppressor all that jazz haven't got round to that yet but that's what will go in there um and if we come to the kitchenette area i've got some lovely get up coffee uh, a half eaten burrito which i'll have for breakfast and then a lovely beer therefore after a hard day salvaging so that's how i've got my immersive setup and i will be bed logging um, after this um, bed logging in my opinion is the only way forward um, it's the easiest and quickest way to get going um, and i've had no problems with it in all the ships i've used it's very very reliable so what we're doing today, oh lovely view over Microtech as well. What we're doing today is salvaging in the Vulture, OBF, and we're going to see just how much we can make in an hour. Now that, I've done it a little bit before, and um, it's probably been like an hour and 10 or an hour and 15 minutes. So, you know, give or take an hour, but I will put an hour on the clock just to see what we can make. I'm guessing around 300k, maybe a little bit more. I will only be salvaging the RMC as well. So I'll only be doing the hull scraping. I won't be fracturing. Um, I have done a video with Storm Cleaver on the fracturing if you want to go and check that one out. Um, but I will not be fracturing today. Just the RMC, it is um, slightly more valuable at the moment. So we're going to see what we've got. Salvage. And I'm going to choose a 20k one, if we have one, and then we're going to head over. I mean, coming up on our salvage claim, and it has taken a hot minute to get over here. 10 minutes so far to get here. Now, yes, I have gone from one planetary system to the other, but that's taken a big chunk of time off. And I have got the Atlas in the Vulture. Um, and I am currently coasting <laughs> around. Let's get the thrusters down a little bit so we can manoeuvre a little bit easier. And you'll see in a moment the game glass change to the mining. Mining, that's wrong. The salvage part. And uh, we'll get going and I'll explain how I've got it all set up. I do enjoy using the game glass, like I've said. Um, it's it's good fun so we're going to come in nice and slow i don't want to knock it and then have it flying off everywhere so like i said as well we are just solely going to be hull scraping this 400i and we should hopefully be able to fill the hold and fill the buffer and we'll see what we get fingers crossed that is the plan anyway so salvage mode there we go got my salvage control down the bottom I find it easier than using all the double hotkeys that uh, you have to use in Star Citizen very uh, annoying so there's the salvage mode it started in hull scraping and as you can see on the left of the hull scraping we can access both right and left modules at the same time or the left or right individually and then over on the right hand side we have the fracturing mode which we won't be using today um, but that's kind of 
one would hope is self-explanatory. So, let's get started. I won't show you the whole hull scraping because it will take a while, I guess. Or maybe not. And a lot of people, when it first came out, said it reminded them of... Uh, what game was it? Pressure washer or something, where you were cleaning dirty walls or driveways with the pressure washer. I didn't even know that was a thing. But at the same time, it didn't subscribe, subscribe, surprise me in the slightest that it was a game. You know, lots of people have these, uh, I'll say OCD tendencies to make sure everything is scraped off or as clean as possible on those games. So I can see it being quite popular. And I guess that's why a lot of people like the hull scraping because it is similar, you know. You can be very methodical about it. Start from the bottom, work your way up, go side to side. Or you could just be an absolute maniac and go wherever you want. Uh, entirely up to you. This is going nice and quick. Uh, currently using two abrades on slightly bigger ships. Uh, I was thinking of putting cinches on the other for the smaller ships, trying to get a bit more RMC with those. Let me know in the comments uh, what your thoughts on that are, or should I just stick with the braids or put trawlers on? I don't know. Let me know. What's the best vulture setup? Because as you can see, I've got two of braids on the right, which is pointless. Um, the tractor beam I've used twice, I think, because I did get too close to the ship, knocked it, so then had to stabilise it. But I've only this only happened twice, and I'd rather not hit the ship, to be perfectly honest with you. So that's why I was thinking of changing to some cinches. Uh, so yeah, let me know what um, what your thoughts are on that. So we've almost got half the ship. I say half the half the back of the ship and it's only 1.2 so we may need another ship to fill the vulture with RMC if that's the case we may change tactics because that would cost another 520k just to just to carry on filling it where we might be able to fill it with some construction materials so we're just going to have to weigh that one up as we get there i would like to just hull scrape it but we'll see now if you do get closer if you want to risk it without knocking the ship i think correct me if i'm wrong please that you can uh, get a little bit more it's a bit more powerful obviously because it's closer the lasers are closer and so you can get parts that wouldn't usually come away if you're further away from the ship so what are we on we've got 45 minutes left approximately on our hour we've taken the 20k off so our starting bank is 9,123,686 that's with the 20k already taken off so we'll see what the uh, the profit is towards the end but that's how much we've got and we'll see what we end up with comment below what you think we're going to get Winner doesn't get anything. There we go. See, I couldn't get that bit before, but now I am able to. So, you just have to play around with it. Play with the angles. Play with the distance away. Makes it a little bit more fun and, I guess, skill-based. Um, with the salvaging. You know, where do you position your ship? How close... Are you willing to get without knocking it? I mean, there's nothing will happen if you knock it to your vulture. 
and the only thing that happens is the, the 400 eye will spin, obviously it is in space, and then you have to dick around trying to stabilise it. And if you haven't got the tractor beam on, well then you can't. So that causes other issues. Right, let's try and get directly above, see if we can get that bit. Nope, still not quite. But we could get it from somewhere else. See, I went a little bit closer and the heat from the laser looked like it spread out a little bit more. It looks so cool. I will get this bit. Yeah. See? Just go to different places. I like hot pockets. Find your hot pocket and you're all right. So where are we? 2.5. See, that doesn't seem like a lot. And we're halfway through the contract. So the 400 will not fill the vulture, I do not think. Whereas the MSR, same price, 20k, you'll get more. So hopefully we finish this one, there'll be an MSR. That's 20k as well, so that would be 40 in total. Um, I just need to decide whether or not I'm going to fracture it. If there's an MSR, probably won't. Right, I'm going to get through some more of this. We'll fast forward a little bit so the video is not too tediously long. And we'll see you when I've got as much from this 400 as possible. And we'll see what the, uh, what the total amount of SCU is. There we have it, fully, as much as I can, hull scraped 400i, and it still manages to look really, really cool. Oh, this game just astounds me with the, the visuals every single time. Fully hull scraped 400i, and in my opinion, still looks mighty fine. Uh, love it. So I have decided we are on 6.6. .6. SCU, so we've got still half of the uh, the depot there to fill. So we will do that with some uh, construction materials. So I'm now just going to switch over to fracture mode, hit the old fracture button, and what have we got? 23.8 SCU in total. Now what I could do is get the whole lot, and then get another ship for the last half an hour or we just try and fill up and then go and get some more RMC so we'll fracture it see what it fractures into and we'll go from there and I do quite like the visual there of the of the fracturing I mean I'm not sure what I was expecting when this was coming into play um, but I would say it was not that um, just sending out like shock waves, sound waves whatever you want to call it to to focus and fracture the ship and the disintegrate one is a little bit tricky to understand as well but it still looks cool I, I, I like it let me know in the comments what you think if you would have done it differently do you like it um, what are your thoughts and there's the fracture, so what have we got? Come on. Okay. Now I haven't looked in the cargo hold for stuff because I wanted to fill everything with um, salvaged components as opposed to looted components. If I were to do some looting as well, I'm just going to press the disc button. Um, if I was to do that, 
um, I would want a buddy along for the ride. So we've got too much for that big part. That's hardly anything, that rear wing. Excuse the flying. That's going to be hardly anything as well. So it looks like we need to get the big bit. Now, you can obviously still disintegrate it and it will fill that other half and we can move along. Um, what's this bit? That's 3.7. Now, I could use a tractor beam to pull that top bit away. Ah, there we go. There's just the 3.7. Can I, if I, no. Get closer, it gets everything else, but I'm not getting any more. So I'm going to get rid of that 3.7. And then I think I will empty what's in the buffer and crack on to the next. Now with the disintegration, if part of the ship is highlighted, the, the edges, it will disintegrate everything that is highlighted, not just what you've targeted. So if there's some little bits or, bit or bigger bits that are highlighted, it will disintegrate the whole lot in the area. Kind of like an area of effect, if you will. And there it gets sucked up. Blue means it will fit, and obviously as you saw with the orange, um, orange means, as you can see there, that it will not fit. Eee. And that's the the leftovers, which would fill. 25 minutes on the timer. I'm going to switch back to hell scraping, get rid of that noise. Turn off mining mode. I'm going to go and empty what is in there. And then I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to disintegrate that, fill the hold, that's one lot, go off and sell and see if I can get some hull scraping in for 10 minutes, see what, what we can get there. I think that's what's going to be my goal. I know I said I'd start off with RMC, engines off exit seat, but time wise and um, overhead costs of another contract making me think I will get some construction materials. If it was a bigger ship, like I've said, the MSR, I think I would get more RMC. Um, so that is something to think about for next time. There's also the 50,000 ones where you will get enough RMC to, to do as well, but that's an extra 30k gone straight away. So I still think the 20,000 ones are better, is a better option. Right, I'm going to move all of these, disintegrate that last bit, and then go sell. So I will meet you at the admin for selling. All right, just quickly, as you can see, cargo hold is full. Uh, well, the grid is full. And I've got the, the one here on the ramp. And there is still some in the buffer. Now, yeah, I could put some here. But the last time I tried that, I was forcefully ejected from my ship. Didn't have a helmet on. And then swiftly uh, swiftly died. And it was all downhill from there. So I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Leave it fully snapped on the grid with that one there. What's in the buffer? I'm now going to go and fill the rest of the buffer. What have we got? 
six, so I'm going to go and get a smaller one, fill up those six SCU, and then sell. Now I'm going to hope to get one around Microtech because that's where I'm going to go and sell. Easiest place to sell both RMC and construction materials. Um, but I will need to refuel first. <laughs> um, but uh, luckily, I can do that at the range point. And then I'm hoping to get one at Microtech. If not, We'll just have to play it by ear. So that is the plan moving forwards. Let's just sort out our mining modes, turn that off, and let's get going. Okay, we got lucky. Kind of, hopefully. Mick L2, Scorpius, 5,000 credits. That will fill our hold. It is nice and close to Babbage as well. So that will fill the cargo grid and fill the buffer also we've got 10 minutes left it'll take about four minutes possibly to get there so we're probably going to run over the hour due to selling and then getting what's out of the buffer onto the cargo grid to then sell that so it's probably going to be an hour and 10 hour and 15 but hey it's two ships we'll see just how much we get so i need to take i need to subtract that 5k from our starting price the quantanium was only the quantum fuel was only 26 so i'm not going to bother with that it's pocket change but i'll take that 5000 off and then then we know how much profit we are getting hour and 10 hour and 15 we will see so i will see you now you know the plan what i'll be doing i'll still see you admin um down in the commons and we'll see what we get. Comment down below what you think it's going to be. I've got an idea in my head. Let's see what you guys think. Well, there we have it. All done and dusted. So it was a full cargo grid and a full buffer in the Vulture. I did need to do two ships. So it was the 400i and the Scorpius costing 25,000 for for the both and um, which wasn't wasn't too bad uh i do recommend however if you're doing the 20k ones to do the msr also more likely to get some loot in there as well some more cargo if uh, if you search for that as well so recommend the msr on that one now down to the brass tax <laughs> with the credits that we made now i did round them up um, or round them down rather you know that would be cheating rounding them up um, and there was a big big difference between the RMC and the construction materials which is why I wanted to solely go for the RMC it's it's more than double it's ridiculous um, so in total the construction materials we got 64k and the RMC we got 202k so there's a massive difference there so go for the RMC it will be quicker and you get more from it. If you enjoy fracturing, then obviously crack on and do that as well. Each to their own. So you add that up. We've got 266,000 from that one um, vulture run, which which isn't too shabby. Now, it did take a little bit longer than expected. Now, we can put that down to some changes with the plan based on the 400i and ship choice. And also travel times as well, going from one to the other did take some time in the vulture so all of that to uh, to take into account but overall 266k it was good fun i enjoyed it it was nice and smooth um and that's all i have to say about that <laughs> as you can see in my hand we've got the beer we're going to crack open the beer have a little sip i'm going to go and build some star wars lego with the beautiful girlfriend now um, thank you all for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure you hit that subscribe button um, and like button it really does go a long way pop any comments you've got down below as well um, about what you've done salvage wise and um, if you're enjoying it and all of that um, I'll try and get another video out maybe before New Year's if not happy New Year to everyone enjoy your night tomorrow whatever you may be doing and I'll see you next time.